Let's take this guy and make some parts from it. So as you guys just saw, I was just checking the, uh, I was indicating my soft jaws to see the straightness of this back face and then the flatness here on this bottom shelf, both here and then over here. Um, I was checking it because I wanted to make sure everything was straight 
as well as at least on the fixed draw side, I had to go in as I was uh, machining it out. I, I had to update like uh, some of my tool paths. And so I just want to make sure after all doing that and going back in reloading the program, nothing else changed. Um, and as you guys saw, or I don't know if you guys saw it on, on the video, because I don't know if it was in the right angle, but I zeroed over here on this side and I swept it. And it was really over, only over on this end that it finally dipped out. It was, you know, zero, 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 and then it went out two tenths on the indicator. And then I also measured here, I zeroed it out on here swept across and I got one tenth of uh, run out and then um, from this position I went and touched over here and I got uh, one tenth difference in my Z height. Um, so with that I verified everything is, is still good. So now we can go and uh, get these guys, get these tops cut off and uh, get three components done. So let's get set up and uh, Let's get going. All right, so I got the, the machine off right now, just so I could talk to you guys, and it'll be a little bit more clear. But uh, I was able to clean up the back side of some of these. I got, this is the X carriage. Well, actually, we'll go see it right now. This guy right here. I got, I just uh, faced off the back side. I didn't chamfer it, and we'll get to that in a second of why, uh, but I cleaned up the back side of that just to get the right thickness. And then I went ahead and started working on one of the motor mounts. I didn't, I only did one of them. And here's the reason why. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. And if, if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, you already have a, a preview of this, but you can see here the chamfer. I don't know if it's on focus with the GoPro, but the camera, or not the camera, the uh, the chamfer is lopsided. As you can see it's way over here in this corner, you know, heavy chamfer, heavy chamfer, and then no chamfer. And same with this circle. So this is the back side. So if this was flipped around, this is, you know, this of course, so on the second op, the, the face off this, and then to drill these holes, everything, that I found looks like it's shifted this way in the X and the Y. So assuming this is sitting in the machine like that, it's shifted like 50 thou that way. Um, so I did this and I saw it and I saw, you know, I, I heard it when it was machining the chamfer that it was, you know, hitting heavy over here and then nothing, and I was like, oh crap. Well, it's already, you know, I'll say toast now. So I still need to, to do this side, the opening for the, uh, to be able to get to the, uh, when the motor's mounted, that little coupling in the middle between the motor and then the ball screw. I just, I still need to be able to get into that. And just to, to, to for the sake of verifying the, the program, uh, I decided just to run it and so this, this to itself was good, um, but then the thicknesses, if you guys saw the pictures, I, I might post them now on this video, but the thickness over here and over here were different. And again, there was shifted, it was actually shifted again this way, because this, this was the, the banking corner. So I did that, and then I started scratching my head, like, how how did this happen? Why, why, is, why is it off? I mean, because... The soft draws that I made were pretty simple. I mean, it's a corner. And so I went and found, refound that inside corner. Um, I got the same numbers on here. I think I was 
within a thou or a tenth. It was it was it was super super close to where I was. Um, and then I decided, okay, fine, let's let's start doing some more digging. And you can see here, I got uh, a one, two, three block in here. I had this banked in here. Um, you might have seen me in the video too. You know, I shim checking everything. Uh, the small shim that I have is a one and a half thou. So I was shim checking everything, indicating up and down the side of the um, one, two, three block, and just trying to see, okay, why why is this off by fifty thou? Everything was straight, or if it was off, you know, it was off by you know a couple of thou at the most. And so I decided, well, let me let me try and go and find this this outside corner of. So I I pretty much just banked the one, two, three block into the corner and then found the outside of that, the X and the Y offsets. And on the foot all, I found out it was, what was the difference? I'll, I'll put it on the screen, but I think it was 52 thou different. between my X my, or my my zero setting for the inside corner versus the outside corner. There is 50 thou difference in both the X and the Y. It was pretty even. So uh, I posted that on Instagram and a bunch of you guys on Instagram and I also posted on the Fadal Facebook group. Um, you guys, a bunch of you guys reached out, gave recommendations. Some people were talking about uh, Backlash or uh, the Thrust Washers being uh out i i did think about that but because of the evenness of the amount off i was thinking that there's there's no chance no no reason why they're the same if they're both the same there, there's got to be some some linking thing between them and so what i'm thinking about is it's it's a work offset so whether it's my heimer here i indicated it you know i swept it it was a little bit off. I think I had it within, you know, a half a thou or a couple tenths, but that's that's you know, super tight compared to the amount off that it is. Um, oh yeah, one one thing I forgot to mention is that I re-ran after I I found the outside corner. I re-ran these and or this this one, and I sharpied the inside, and you can see that it is slightly. It's now shifted that way. Where it needs to be is between this outside profile where we're shifted up into this corner and then this profile where it shifted down to here. It needs to be like right in the middle of that. And so I'm thinking that it might be something with my probing or my work offset with this. Now one thing I'm going to do is get a, um, a wiggler. That's something that someone recommended. I think I do have one. I haven't used it in forever. It might be actually right down there. I think I might have used it for the router. Um, but I'm going to check that and then use that and try and, you know, figure out if there's some kind of offset that I need to change in here. Cause I know you can change the, um, the locator diameter for when you're, when you're checking a, an edge, you can say that the, the wiggler, for example, is, you know, 200 thou thick. Um, but yeah. I'll say that for the next video. I just wanted to guys give you guys an update on progress for this stuff because I know it's been a little bit, you know, life's been crazy, busy, and work, and you know, this this stuff is my secondary when I have free time to do. Um, but yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed at least some some machining content. I know it's it's been a while, and hopefully we can get we can solve this issue. If I do find the find the issue, I'll definitely share it with you guys. Uh, that hopefully that, you know, maybe if someone else with a foot all, you know, had an issue, maybe they, this will help, help you guys out. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys like this stuff, give the video a like. Um, and if it deserved it, you know, consider subscribing. Or if you want to see more of this stuff, or maybe even the, the resolution to this. Or, you know, when I, after I finish that, you know, if you want to see, you know, me machine more stuff. Because we're going to, you know, I 3D printed everything. And all the brackets on here, everything that's gray, you know, all of these things are going to be machined out of aluminum. And if you guys like that kind of stuff, you know, 
consider uh, subscribing. But anyways, hope you guys, oh yeah, uh, shout out to um, Herden, as I, I forget how to say his name, but uh, I got, you know, all this machining video I got with this guy. It's a little bit pricey, but uh, you know, it works. I'm able to get, you know, clear video, even with the coolant spraying right on the lens. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.